YouTube. This is Supercharged iOS. And I got some great news for all of you OUYA users out there. So you might want to stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use your thumb drive as internal storage on the OUYA. All right, now your OUYA has to be rooted or this won't work. So I'll put a link in the description as well as on the screen of this video. And you can go ahead and click on that and go and root your OUYA real quick. It takes less than 10 minutes and you can come back and you'll be ready to move forward. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Manage, System, Advanced, Storage and show you that I only have 5.78 gigabytes of total space left of internal storage on my OUYA. So what we do is scroll down and you see right here my USB storage is 29.80 gigs. Now what I'm going to show you how to do is use all that room that's on your USB drive and put it as internal storage right here. Alright, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download this app from the Google Play Store and once your OUYA is rooted you can also download the APK from the internet wherever you may be able to find it. It's called external, the number two, and internal. So if you choose to do it like that without using the Google Play Store for whatever reason you don't like it or you don't have a Google account, no problem. I'll try to find a link and put it in the description and where you can just download it, sync it over to your Dropbox and you can upload it onto your OUYA that way. But most people I know are going to root their device, their OUYA, and they're going to install the Google Play Store. Just go over to search and that's what you're looking for right here, external to internal. Go ahead and show you what it looks like. This is it right here. Root external to internal. You just get that right here. It says uninstalled because I already have it installed. You just want to get that installed. It only takes a few seconds and you'll be ready to move on. Okay, so now that you've installed this application right here, external to internal, go ahead and launch it. And when you ask for permission through super user, just go ahead and approve that and let the and grant the permission and let the application work and make sure that this is checked right here at boot and then go to settings up here at the top right and then you want to make sure that this one send rescan is checked and you want to make sure this one use per default is checked so get those two checked and then you want to scroll down to right here the external SD card device access Go ahead and select that one and you'll pay attention to the numbers 8 colon 1 at the very end at, right after VOLD slash. Just pay attention to these two numbers right here. Now what you're going to need to do is go to the bottom of the list, press cancel right here and click here, view the different devices. And you just wait a couple seconds and there you go, scroll down, scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll see right here all you have to do is find the number there's going to be two different numbers I just changed mine and so mine's going to stay the same at 8 colon 1 now all you have to do is figure out whichever one of the numbers is your USB drive and copy that number in right here the external SD card device select that and right here where I've already entered 8 colon 1 that's where you need to change whatever number is there just put your cursor right there click right there and just hit backspace and erase it and add that number 8 colon 1 so that's all I had to do so press OK and now you're finished just go back and go right here this is the last step external to internal you want to click right there and now you'll be ready to check so go to manage system advanced storage and as you can see the internal storage is now 29.80 gigabytes which is the same as my USB storage now remember Anytime you reboot your device, that is, you unplug your OUYA and plug it back in, you're going to need to redo this. So you go back, I'll show you real quick. Whenever you get done rebooting your device, you just go right here to external to internal, 
and just click right here, as simple as that, and it'll re it'll reauthorize it or reflip it, whatever you want to call it. And you can go right back and check, and it'll be the same way. System, advanced, storage, and there you go. All right, this is Supercharged iOS. This is a quick video showing you guys how to use your USB storage as internal storage on the Ouya. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was pretty helpful. Please tell me what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to click like. And always remember to like my page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS and follow me at twitter.com forward slash charged iOS. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.